Either one of you guys, basketball is such a roller coaster thing. It's been a tough couple of weeks. What does this mean to kind of get this kind of win and kind of get some positive momentum going the way? It's definitely a momentum booster for us. You know, we. I wouldn't say that we were down these past years, but you know, losing isn't fun. So you know, getting this win and you know, going to the next game that's, that's definitely a big game for us. It's going to be huge, just for our uh, confidence in going to that game. Yeah, I mean, it's you never won three losses in a row. You never won multiple losses, any kind of streak. Uh, but I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, it's been a rough week and a half. But I mean, two losses. I mean, we had a bad loss at home, and then a, a loss on the road. That you know, both of those, you look back and you're like, dang, like. If we could get those back, it'd be great to have. But at the end of the day, like it's the next game, you just gotta prepare and you know put more uh, weight on the pedal. Uh, get down there and all the way to the full board, and you know go out there and win. There's not much you can do. Yeah. What was practice like? I know after the Wake Forest game, you guys had a tough practice. I mean, yeah, it's just, like, like I said, apply more pressure, and you know it's louder. It's uh, more guys are pushing each other. A lot more good on good. A lot more banging. And uh, try, honestly, the, the biggest thing is trying to make it more competitive, more. One on one drills, two on two drills, uh, going back and forth at at each other, good on good. There's not as much not as much scout. Obviously, whenever it's the day before the game, we do some good on good, but it's more you know like tightening up some stuff before the game. But uh, whenever you have two or three days to prepare, it's you're, you're going at each other. Chase, yeah. so, did your mindset change as far as what shots you wanted to take or, or how aggressive when to be aggressive, that kind of stuff at all, or do you feel like it was just shots dropping the day? Um, I would say for me, it's, my mindset's always been the same this year as far as, you know, starting off just trying to get other people involved. And, you know, today the shots, the shots just fell for me. It was, it was a good game. But, you know, my mindset going to the game is always get my teammates involved early. And then I'll just find my, find my lanes and find my uh, ways to score. I think Coach Brown <coughs> said you've been getting extra shots in and mm -hmm. trying to find it again. Just did it, was it rewarding to see that pay off? Oh, yeah, definitely. It definitely was. You know, that's something that I love. Uh, that I've always done my whole life, you know, when, when things are going good, just work hard. You know, it definitely paid off tonight. Probably got time for a couple more. PJ, you all set a program record, or tied a program record with 11 ACC wins tonight. Um, how's that feel? Has it kind of sunk in at all that, that you all are having a historic season and one of the best in Clemson history? I mean, it's not good enough. Uh, I mean, we're still, like, I don't know what the standings are, but I know we're not in first and the season's not over. So even if we were, there's more work to be done, obviously. but. It's, uh, it's nice to know that we're having some stuff go our way. We've had multiple games within one or two possessions. We've been able to pull those out. Uh, two game winners, one hunter, one had chase uh, at the last seconds of the game. So, you know, it's, there's been some things where the ball bounced our way and it was nice for us, but there's other times where we earned that. And so it's uh, it's nice to see the first year labor. PJ, do y'all hear any of the outside talk as far as, like, Clemson got off a great start. That was nice, but they're starting to slip now and, and same old Clemson with the three runs. Um. A lot of the guys are like, I don't have Twitter like, at all. I know that's the main thing. I think it's a cesspool. It's terrible. Uh, it's, it's just a bunch of negative stuff on there. But uh, so I never really see anything. Um, every now and then, my mom will send me an article. She thinks like, oh, PJ, like the job. And I'm like, mom, I'm not trying to look at this stuff. But, you know, um, at the end of the day, it don't matter. I mean, people that matter, these guys in the program, even guys like Ben that are helping us out with stuff like this, and honestly, keeping that stuff out and uh, making sure that we're focused on the present and. Uh, coming game. PJ, can you share with the last three weeks or so what has that been like with your ups and downs, with your still coming back, with your, with your, full, mm -hmm. with your full health? You know, I mean, it's the whole season's been like that, uh, especially early on. It was, there was a lot of stuff going on with me, uh, some personal stuff, some stuff obviously physically with my, uh, with my leg as well. And then also, like, it didn't help at all that I hardly got a condition uh, in the preseason. It was kind of like, got back in your knee, all right, you're kind of tubby, go back and go and play 30 minutes, it wasn't very easy. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's like these guys are helping me out and every day they're, you know, getting me better. Guys like Ben Middlebrooks are pushing me every day in practice. Um, and you just kind of keep trucking along, no excuses. It's kind of been our whole thing all year. No excuses, or no limits, no excuses, no regrets. And so just kind of pushing along and um, guys will have you. Whatever you do, guys will have you at the end of the day. All good? Thanks, guys. Yep.